George Brown College's waterfront campus in Toronto will be home to its health sciences program when it opens its doors in September. The building was designed and built from the ground up around a network of automated mechanical, electrical, building control, and IT systems with a focus on collaborative spaces. The seven-story campus is built around a number of features aimed at fostering that collaborative education. Three learning landscapes set up for group work, two lecture rooms adapting the traditional tiered layouts so students can face each other over full-size desk surface, and with pairs of large multimedia screens to connect to other faculties in distance learning, and a fourth floor simulation suite to familiarize nursing students with an operating room environment. Because the campus is so dependent on technology, developer Ellis Don and suppliers including Cisco Systems, Honeywell, and Fifth Light had to pre-configure and test the entire system in a laboratory environment before disassembling it to rebuild on site. A lot of the work that is done by healthcare pro professionals has to be team-based and it means that the doctor knows what the nurse is doing, the nurse knows what the physio is and likewise. It also is important because healthcare is not about one setting. It's about an acute, it's not just about acute setting. In fact, they say that as little as 20% of your care really takes place in hospitals. And it's going to be ever increasingly so that less and less is because most of us spend our time, have the procedure, and then we leave and we go home or we go to the community. Um, and if we're living with illness, which a lot of us will be, unfortunately, as we're getting older, most of us are going to live with some type of disease. And if you're diabetic, which unfortunately is ever increasing, you have multiple problems, which means you will have a multiple number of healthcare professionals looking after you. And so it's important that our health professionals are taught more about collaboration, about what they call patient-centered collaborative care. So the question was, how do we, when we were designing the spaces, how do we use technology to link some of that learning? So for example, if we're talking about health assessments in the uh, RN program and having them learning about what do you look for, and then you could share that information, that lecture, that, that discussion with dental hygiene to see where they fall in, how they compare and contrast, and actually are there things that nursing does when they ask questions that perhaps hygiene needs to add to their repertoire. So that's one way, is connecting the information to different classes. And the second is taking that learning beyond these four walls and linking with the education systems, our partners at the universities, our, and, and, the, and the providers of healthcare in the uh, smaller communities up north. And we know that healthcare is becoming more dependent on distance care. So having seen your professional, they're not physically there, but they're able to monitor, discuss it, um, and support that person um, through distance. I mean, e-counseling, everything now is becoming more technologically savvy. We need to look at healthcare in the same way.